everyone, TPS Miner here. Welcome back to the TPS Miner channel. If you're mining Ethereum with LHR graphics cards, you're probably already well aware of T-Rex version 0.25.12. It's the latest release from T-Rex that allows you to unlock between 78 and 79% of the Ethereum mining capability on your LHR graphics cards. So what I wanna talk about today is one additional thing that you may be able to do to unlock even more than 79% on the LHR graphics cards. And I want to highlight this line item, this bullet point right here. So in this latest release, they've changed the default value of LHR auto-tune mode from full to down. So let's hop over into the command list and let's take a look at what this LHR auto-tune mode command does. So the default, as I said, is now down. It used to be full. So the way that the full LHR auto-tune mode worked was it's the same as down, but additionally, the miner will be trying to increase the LHR tune value if it's stable on the current LHR tune level. The value of down is an LHR tune value that will decrease if the miner detects LHR lock. So the way that the latest release of T-Rex works is it's going to calibrate your graphics card and determine a target uh, LHR percentage. So we'll get into this whenever we jump in and take a look at the 3060 in my test bench. But once you've established your calibrated value, having the default of LHR auto-tune mode set to down means that you can only go down from that calibrated value. So if we were to change LHR auto-tune mode back to full, could we potentially see the baseline or the, the value that's established at the calibration point actually increase? So what we're gonna to do today, we're gonna to test it out and we're gonna see what happens. So let's hop over into the test bench and let's take a look at the config file that we've set up and let's see what we can do. So this is my config file for Ethereum in Ethermine. And again, you can see I've got the absolute path set up to the miner executable. The algorithm is ET hash. And I've got my Stratum TCP set up for Ethermine uh, for my locale for us.1.ethermine.org, the port 4444. My user is my Ethereum wallet. Dash P is, password is X. My worker is the changing table, which is the name of my test bench. Dash dash devices means that I'm going to specify that I only use the 3060 LHR graphics card that's in my test bench. I'm using the dash dash lock core clock to lock my core clock at 1575, dash dash M clock to lock my memory clock at 1300. And I've added in this argument of dash dash LHR dash auto tune dash mode and setting it to full and then I'm also adding in one additional argument of dash dash LHR dash auto tune dash step dash size, lots of dashes, to 0.1. So what this is going to do is when the auto tune mode tries to adjust the LHR percentage, either up or down, it will limit the step size to 0.1%. The default is 0.5. So you're stepping in larger blocks. So what I'm doing is I'm limiting the, the step size to 0.1% per step. So it may take longer if we are going to increase the hash rate. It may take longer to get there. But if we're tuning down, it also means that we'll step down in smaller increments. So if we only need to step down 0.1% to stabilize, then we're going to do that instead of jumping down all the way a one half of a percent and maybe giving up some additional hash rate in the process. Okay, so with the batch file set up, let's go ahead and start this up. Uh, before I do that, I do want to point out uh, one quick thing. If you take a look in MSI Afterburner, you can see I am using the NVIDIA driver version 5.12.15. So NVIDIA or the uh, T-Rex does recommend you use a 5.12 version of uh, the driver if you're mining in Windows. So make sure that you've updated your drivers to a 5.12. something version. Uh, you also see that I am running a 100% power limit because I will be power limiting 
the graphics card using the locked core clock. And I'm setting the memory clock in Afterburner to zero again because I am doing the memory clock setting in the T-Rex minor batch file. So I do have my fan speed set to 75%. And with that being said, let's go ahead and fire up the miner and see what happens. So again, we are using the eth.ethermine batch file. So we're gonna right click and run this as administrator because we are setting the, or we are locking the core clock. So we need to run this as administrator to make that happen. Okay, so we see here in the miner that the GPU zero calibration has finished. We've set a target hash rate for the unlocker at 39.03 mega hash per second. And that equates to an LHR of 79.0%. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna let this run for a while and we're gonna see if this LHR percent goes up or goes down hopefully based on the change that we've made to set the auto tune mode to full, we are hoping to see that LHR percentage increase over time. So we'll let this go for a while. We'll check back in and we'll see what happens. Okay, so we have been mining now for just over two hours and you can see that the miner has tuned its way up to 79.6% with a target unlock of 39.33 mega hash per second. And when we increased to the 79.6, we immediately detected an LHR um, scenario and stepped back down to 79.5%. So, We've established now that our baseline was 79%. Over the last two hours, we've been able to slowly work our way up to 79.5% with a target of 39.28 mega hash. So our initial baseline of 79% was a 39.03 mega hash. We're now at 39.28 mega hash. So we have seen, uh, an improvement. If we would have left the miner as it was without adding the additional argument for the LHR auto tune mode to set it to full, we would have stayed at the 79% with a target of 39.03. So I think the answer to our question is yes, adding in that additional argument will allow us to improve our LHR unlock on our LHR graphics cards. In particular, we're testing here today the 3060 LHR, and we're able to get to 79.5% and 39.28 mega hash per second. So I would say this is a great success. I'm extremely pleased with this latest version of T-Rex, and uh, even more pleased now that I have added in this one additional argument to, or two additional arguments, I guess I should say, uh, adding in the LHR auto-tune mode, and the LHR auto-tune step size. So if you enjoyed this video, if you did learn anything today, please hit the like button. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, please hit the notification bell to be notified of future content. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video today. Hope you have a great rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you again real soon.